16 children, but by the time they came to the clock age, many of them had already immigrated to the United States and England. But the story of how life was here in the clock age can't really be told by me. And I have a lovely presentation for you by John, if you want to go over this side, girls, so you can see it more. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, oh. welcome to your one. My name is John McGraw and I'm going to give you a, a small sketch of how my family and my grandfather lived here in this bit. My, my grandfather was the first to move into the coffee with his wife in 1915. When my grandfather was there, his duty were to wind the clock twice a week and raise the flag and the other one was to call out the fire brigade. After he had passed on, my father took up the duties as well. And as he moved on in years, it was quite difficult for him to wind the clock. So I would come to his assistance and, and help out. I had two sisters, one brother. My eldest sister was an invalid. Her name was Nancy McGrath. My other sister was Sheila McGrath. My brother, David McGrath. The four of us were born in the clock 